Hey guys, Cast72, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I've got another video today I want to share with you guys. Um, for a while now I've been wanting to put some uh, a camera on my Kia Soul and I was looking at some of the prices to get it professionally done and some of those prices were just ridiculously um, way beyond my budget. So I found this device here made by GMAC and it's a high definition dash camera. Um, these are some of the features it has. Uh, basically, you've got um, it's got a G sensor, which basically, if the vehicle uh, detects any kind of motion, the cameras immediately start recording both front and back. It's also got um, motion detection if someone happens to walk in front of the camera or behind the camera. Uh, again, the camera will take action and start recording. Um, it's got loop recording, meaning if if the SD card on the um, unit gets to the point where it's full, it'll actually record over. Um, it's high definition video recording. It's got advanced chipset, and the, it's got a wide angle lens. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to share with you guys today. Um, I'll put the link in the description. It didn't cost a whole lot. I believe I can handle doing this, and it'll cut out the the middleman, so to speak, and I'll be saving me quite a bit. And just wanted to share this with y'all. Another one, another thing I want to point out, guys, is if you install this in your car um, and you contact your insurance company, you actually save um, a small percentage on your insurance uh, bill because of having this unit. In, in certain states, um, they do uh, honor the fact that if you have a, a dash camera in the vehicle, it'll reduce your insurance premium. So. Um, you might want to look into that uh, according to your state rules and regulations for uh, auto insurance. Um, but yeah, with that being said, um, well, I, I don't really like unboxings. Let's just do it real quick, get it over with. But um, what you get when you get this thing, uh, there we go. You'll get the rear view mirror, which that's how it mounts basically let me show you guys this a little better ah, I didn't want you guys to see me like that but oh well um, you've got your uh, SD card it does not come with one it thinks I think it holds up to 32 gigabyte let me focus on that for you yeah uh, then it's got your power USB a mini USB power adapter um, reset switch I'll go over this once I install it in the vehicle. Um, you've got your camera, um, and how this works is basically you would mount this on your pre-existing um, rear view mirror, and it comes with some straps here. Let's see if I can show you those real quick. Yeah, it comes with these straps here. And basically what they do is they'll just kind of hug around your pre-existing rear view mirror and also with this new unit and it'll just um, hug itself around the rear view mirror the factory one anyway uh, pretty tight they're kind of like a rubbery expand uh, stretchable type material so basically you would put this on this loop or this clip if you will and then the other one goes on the other side and basically that just kind of straightens the the fit and the tightness of the of your pre-existing uh, rear view mirror now if you need to you can probably shorten these a bit by cutting them and trimming them just to make it extra secure but I think this is about a good standard size for most most vehicles uh, rear view mirrors um, so yeah you get the um, the rear view mirror the camera that comes already pre-installed on the unit itself you get um, your mounting straps. You get this little tiny, um, this little plastic insert tool, kind of help you push the wiring inside your um, uh, sun dash, so that way you can have, uh, you know, something to actually push the cable in. It's just a, it's just a plastic tool, and that's to help run your wire. You get a cleaning cloth. And you get a lot of these little tiny 3M kind of tack on little um, stickers, if you will, to help you mount the wiring 
which uh, we'll see how that works out. I might wire mine slightly different. I might do mine behind the sun, the sunroof, or the sun, the, the top of the vehicle sun sun pad. Um, you also get this is your rear view mirror, and as you can see, you get the mounting equipment for it, which is some screws, um, some 3M tape, and this is your rear view mirror right here. Uh, where are we at? There we go. And it does come with some LEDs that help light it up at night so you have better night vision with it. And then basically you can either mount this, you know, on the outside. It's, it is waterproof. Uh, it's a 720p camera where the other front camera is 1280p. And um, yeah, if you mount this on the, on the rear of the vehicle, you do have waterproof. And then it's got also the LED lights that light up so at night to help you have more uh, visibility. And it comes with an extremely long cable. I think they said it's 18 feet, if I'm not mistaken. So that's more than enough. Um, this is what will plug into the bottom of the um, rear view mirror. And basically, it'll go plugged into here. And that's what will give it the ability to now uh, visually see the rear view on this um, uh, rear view mirror here. You'll, you'll have a, you can faintly see the video um, monitor, but that's where it'll display. And it does have picture in picture. So if you wanted to monitor your front view um, camera while you're watching your rear view, it'll do that at the same time. Um, but we'll go more into that once I get it in installed guys I'm just giving you a rundown on what you get inside this this packet and then of course the red wire and Should be a negative wire that is uh, when you uh, when you install this on the rear of the vehicle uh, These this positive and negative cable will go plugged into your it's all mangled up right now, but uh, the negative ones in there somewhere. Yeah that basically goes plugged into your um, uh, backup light so that way it knows when to activate the camera when you're backing up and let's see and then of course you get your your power cable that has the um, cigarette lighter connector to that's where you're going to get power to the unit and then here's the little mini usb that i mentioned that'll go plugged into the top again of the of the uh, of the new uh, rear view mirror and there you go so you got your rear view mirror you got your camera, your SD card, and a reset button um, right there. And then of course your in-mounted camera here, 1280p. And what else do you get here? What is this? And then this is a USB uh, cable. I guess, let me see here. Let me check something out real quick. So that is your... Oh, okay, so it gives you two options. You can either plug this direct into your US, I'm sorry, if you already have a pre-existing, like my Kia comes with an uh, USB power port. So that's in case you already have that, you would use this cable. If you don't, then they give you the option to use the cigarette lighter one. Um, so yeah, you got two options there. That's pretty cool, I didn't know that. So again, you have the option of using it with your cigarette lighter and it comes with the mini USB or if your vehicle comes equipped with a USB power port, like mine does, then you can actually just use this one as well. So it's really just up to you, um, or really up to the kind of vehicle you have. And then of course you have your um, instructions. This is the GMAX CE12. Uh, that's kind of what it'll look like once it's on there. That's, that's the screen I was telling you about. Uh, and then it just gives you a quick rundown on the installation instructions, um, all the ports and what the ports represent, what they what they do. Um, pretty pretty simple instructions and setup instructions and installation. Not a big deal. Um, not very difficult to install. Pretty pretty easy. Um, there you can see the wiring layout, um, and that's how the rear view mirror um, takes action. Again, with the cable being connected into your uh, positive lead on your rear uh, backup light. So there is no ground. The ground's actually the AV out that goes connected into the rear view mirror. So that's pretty cool. And then there's your picture in, picture out, like I was saying earlier. But again, guys, once I get it installed, we'll go over some of these other features, like the setup and what kind of options you get on the menus. But anyway, so that's what you get in the package, you know. Um, oh, hold on, there's something else here. 
Oh, and then they just want some feedback and they just want you to share your experience with them, let them know how the product is. If you have any problems, whatnot, just contact them. Uh, they do have the, the um, email kind of um, point of uh, the email um, customer support emails there for you. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, just real quick, I wanted to show you what you have, what you get. Um, you can redeem a free gift. What else they got here? And let's see. Okay, I guess that's if you order the free gift and whatnot. It's just advertisement, guys, and also some feedback brochure. Um, but yeah, so you know, I just I'm just doing this real quick because I kind of want to make this video pretty pretty quick today. I don't I don't want to take too much time on explaining what you get in the box. Uh, but again, yes, that's made by uh, G uh, Mac. It's an HD uh, dash camera, both front and rear. And yeah, let's go ahead and get this started, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys, I had to mount the camera, so I hope this. Uh, this angle looks pretty good on your end, um, but let's see. So I brought the package out to my car, which has everything I need in it. First thing we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna go ahead and mount the mirror. And it does have a, pr a protective film on it, but we're gonna leave that on till the final, till the end. Um, and then you know which way's up and down because you're your adjustable buttons will be underneath all your power your sd card and your reset and your exter uh rear camera uh ports will be on the top so let me go ahead and get the mounting straps um you know the reason why i'm doing this um is because i just feel more secure driving with the camera that's recording 24 7 because you know nowadays the way things are um it just helps to have a third eye, you know, a, a, a witness, if you will. And that's per pretty much what this is going to end up being. You know, it's going to be my eyes while while I'm driving should an accident happen or something, something like that happen. At least I know that, um, you know, uh, I've got something as proof as to whose fault it really was. Uh, it, I think it's just a smart thing to have. You know, I, I also ride a motorcycle. Um, which by the way, I want to start doing a couple of more videos on that as well. But anyway, uh, I also ride around, um, on my motorcycle with the same exact thing, which is a, a camera that records 24 set or, you know, while I'm driving it or riding it, I should say, because uh, by, by the way, they give you an extra strap in case I guess one of these bust or something. But anyway, so we got the straps on, as you can see. All right. And now it's just a matter of picking it over. And you want to make sure that you don't go beyond uh, the camera. So basically, your original factory uh, rear view mirror should stop about right here. So that's what we're going to do right now. Man, that's going to be a pretty tight fit. That's, uh, that's, that's no joke. That thing's really going to hold on there. So give me a minute, guys. I, I might struggle with this because uh, it's, it's really going to be a tight fit, man. I, I didn't think it was gonna be that rough. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, that's gonna be a little bit. So yeah, just bear with me. Let me let me work with this, guys. Hold on. I had no idea it was gonna be that tight. Um, so that can go there. I think I'm going to be better off starting off at the bottom. So let me do that really quick. I'm going to I'm going to basically start at the bottom and then go over because uh doing it at the top's just not going to work. Okay, let me see if I get luckier this way. I had no idea it was going to be that tight of a fit. Wow. Yeah, this yeah, this is going to work. It works for me better this way, guys, because I can mount it. See, it's already on there. So you might want to consider whether it's going to work for you from underneath or from on top. In my case, I, it was better for me to go underneath and then over on top. Uh, you might end up needing it to go from the top under, depending on 
I guess the the style and 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 thickness of your factory camera. All right, let me just get this other side on. Okay, that looks good. Man, it's really on there. Jeez. As you can see, it's on there pretty good. Um, looks a little thick because you have, you know, two mounted cam uh, rear view rear view mirrors on here. But you know, if you're looking at it head on this way, it shouldn't really affect anything. It actually widened my view, so I can actually see more now. Nice, uh, as opposed to the factory one. Um, I think that's going to be it right there. So. Okay, now that we got that on, we're gonna go ahead and start our wiring, our power and whatnot. So that'll be the next thing we're gonna do. Let me get the, uh, the material box and we're gonna be looking for the, um, I have two options here. I actually have where I can either do Yeah, let's just go ahead and do the cigarette lighter one. I just prefer that one more. And let's see here. I was thinking too, guys, like in, in my case, I actually have um, a radar detector and I have some LED lights um, on my vehicle. So this is going to render me without those options, but you can always go to Walmart, Target, AutoZone, Pet Boys, and you can buy what they have. They have up to three that I've seen, even four. Um, basically, they're cigarette adapters where you plug the main one in and it gives you three uh, other optional plugins. So you can also do that as well in case you feel like, you know, using this. I, I wish, the only thing I wish is that on this unit, they would have given this with a, you know how they have the USB, here, look, I'll show you. Here's what I have on mine now. Um, there it is, you see that? I wish they would have made theirs with that, with that USB uh, adapter like that. Um, so see, that's my radar detector. And then if I need anything to go in there, I can plug it. And then this is my LED lights for my vehicle. Uh, so because of this, now I'm going to be without, uh, this adapter, but no big deal. I'll drop by at Walmart and like I said, get the external or the extension with the two, uh, cigarette or even three adapters. I only need two really this one and another one. So we're good. Just wanted to show that to you guys. Uh, let me mount this back again. Bear with me. I got to try to focus on it make sure I get it about right. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Uh, so as I was saying, let's go ahead and get our our long, long, long cigarette power cable. Cigarette lighter power cable. And we'll plug in that last because we still got to run the cabling. And I don't know if y'all can see that from down there, but we're going to plug that in here. Right? There we go. And I, I got an SD card. I don't have it on me. I should have brought it, but I'll, I'll get that later. I don't want to have to go back in right now. And I'm going to go also go ahead and connect my um, external camera as well. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. Um, I hope the angle is good because I, I basically have my camera resting on my seat and I can't see behind it. So... Hopefully this is in the in the perfect at the perfect angle for you guys. Uh, so let's see. So yeah, that's gonna go to the back. What I'm saying is this red cable right here, this red wire is gonna go to the very back, pretty much where the camera's at. Um, but to the very front. And like I said, it's, I believe it's 18 feet long. It's it it's uh, it's definitely a lot of cable. So 
you know, if you guys are wondering if you have a pickup truck or maybe even a van, I mean, it is it is about 18 feet. I think I read that somewhere that it's actually 18 feet long. That's that's pretty long. I'm just trying to get it all untangled so we don't have any issues um, when we when we run it all the way to the back. So let's see. Okay, we got all that. There we go. Okay, and now we plug in this one, which is our rear camera. And that's really the only two cables that you plug into the rear view mirror is basically your external, I mean, I'm sorry, your rear view camera um, and the power to supply to the front camera as well as the rear camera, your, your power port. And then we'll just set this up like that for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run this a lot nicer and whatnot. I'm, I'm going to, you know, probably put these two wires together and then I'm going to run these up through here all the way to the back with the cigarette lighter one coming down and plugged in. So bear with me guys, um, we got that part done. I'm gonna go ahead and um, let me run the cable through again. This is what we're gonna do. I don't wanna bore you guys with the process. That's why I'm just gonna show you what I'm planning on doing. Um, we're, I'm gonna run these two cables side by side, make them nice and neat so they're tied together. And then I'm gonna run these up underneath my um, sun sunroof here, my, my visor, uh, and then run it all along the side, up behind, the, okay, the only cable that'll go at, from here down will be the um, cigarette lighter connection, and then it'll go behind the frame, underneath the dash, and then right up around here, like I did with my uh, other wiring for my LEDs, and then bring it up and then plug it right into here. So that'll take care of the, uh, let's see. That's gonna take care of the, where's it at? Okay, here it goes. That'll take care of this part and then it'll just go plug it into there. And then as far as the camera goes for the rear end, that's gonna go, um, instead of splitting and coming down like the uh, cigarette lighter, that's gonna go underneath all the way to the back and then I'm gonna mount mine up inside near the brake if I don't like the way that looks then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and mount it on the bottom portion there um, above right there so we'll see how that works out it's either gonna be the top or the bottom we'll come to that when I get there but anyway let me go ahead and uh, get this going real quick and yeah we'll go from there Okay guys, I wanted to show you real quick. I got it all ran from, you know, the side panel all the way over. And here is where I had to actually take it out because I need to connect it to the rear backup light, the positive part of it, which is this cable. But in order to do that, I'm gonna, this is where all my excess cable is gonna go. Um, and then I ran it up, uh, I, I tied it up to my rear light, my backup light. And then I ran the cable down into the factory um, light for the backup. And basically that way it's weatherproof. And then it goes in from there underneath the, the, the you know, the, the roof padding. And then it goes into, like I said, I'm gonna stack it all up here nice and neat and then connect my rear view, I'm sorry, my uh, backup light power and then we should be good so all right let's keep okay guys so i got it all nice and tucked away uh if you can see through the rear view mirror you can see right there where the see right there where the little squares at hanging down from my backup light 
uh, that's where the rear camera mounted and it's all nice and uh, tucked away no cables are showing looks really good so what I want to go over with you guys now is just a quick uh, rundown of how it looks once it's powered on um, there is one thing I might do let me turn on my car real quick so I don't know if you can see that but there you go so that's what it kind of that's what it looks like you you are gonna have glare guys but keep in mind this is a mirror so it'd be silly for you to think you're not going to have any glare and of course the lcd panel is behind a mirror finish so you are going to have reflection i mean that's unfortunately that's what you're going to have that's what you get along with this um so what i'll probably do is wait for nighttime to come so we don't have the reflection so i can show you more of the settings i mean i set it up to like like you see right now it's shut down I set it for 30 seconds, so therefore in 30 seconds it shuts down. If you click the, the screen, it comes back on again. Um, if you go back, it takes you to the main menu. Um, we'll just go over it now, guys. That way I don't have to wait till the night to put up this video. It's just without the glare, you'd probably be able to see the screen a little better, but I guess we'll just have to work with this. Um, so you got your video. That takes you to your video screen where you can actually see your front camera and back camera. Um, if you wanted to, you can hit the CSI. Uh, here, let me do this. There we go. That would help. Uh, if you hit the CSI toggle, that just toggles the photos between your front, your rear, your front and rear, and then your front and rear side by side. Um, if you go to video, that's going to start recording. I don't have an SD card in there. Lock will just lock the screen. Mute uh, is if you want to mute the the video recording or sound. Like I'm speaking right now, if it was recording, it would be picking up my voice. You would mute that. Um, if you go back, this is for the camera. Basically, it's only the camera if you wanted to take a photo. And basically, you would click the photo button. However, I don't have a SD card in there, as you can tell by that little icon up there. Uh, there you go. Let me see here. Uh, come on now. Okay, well, on the very top, there's a little icon there that indicates you don't have an SD card in or that I don't have an SD card in there. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to take a photo and then again, if you want to, you can switch to the CSI button uh, icon and that'll turn it over to the reverse, uh, the rear camera and you can take a photo at that point if you'd like. Um, so let's go back. Uh, that's mute. Playback if you ended up recording a video and you wanted to play it back. Close if you want to just close it and go back to your mirror. And there you go. Um format if you wanted to format your sd card and then again lock if you click that that's going to be your time which you can set unfortunately the downfall is it's military time uh 24 hour time clock there is no standard so you'll just have to unfortunately cope with that i don't know about firmware updates on this unit um i'll look into that and and um see if that's even possible maybe on a future update they might end up uh having that feature so let's go back to video and the reason why i want to do that is because when you go to this uh, video option icon you can see your settings on the far right so going over the settings you starting from top to bottom you can adjust your resolution um let me see i'm trying to try not to move this camera so much for you guys okay so resolution you can set it from 1080p to 720 um and and vga i just i wish i could lock this um let's see if i can just all right that'll have to do and um, if you go beneath that it's going to be loop record meaning you can loop this from anywhere from one minute to two minutes to three minutes and you can also set it off that's loop record um, enhanced night vision you can set that on or off that just helps the visibility at night a little better I would keep it on if I were you uh, switch tone that's if you just want to mute the, the, the tone from making noise if it bothers you uh, go down to your next page page two you oh shoot you can set your date stamp so uh, when you do record or do take a video or photo it'll actually 
um, record the date and time uh, for you. I would leave that on so in case something unfortunately does happen, um, it is recorded. Um, let's see here. Uh, gravity sensing, you can set that anywhere from uh, standard to high to off. Um, and that basically is how sensitive it is to the, the motion of the vehicle. So if you had your car parked and uh, let's say somebody bumped into it like at a parking lot, somebody hit it at a grocery store, somebody hit it with a shopping cart or something, the camera will automatically kick on and start recording. Um, you could probably set it to high, but I have mine set to standard. I, I just figured, you know, um, I doubt that's going to happen. It might, but if it does, I figure standard's just fine. I mean, you can always set it to high if you'd like. Um, parking monitor. Um, I believe parking monitor means when it's parked and you set that on, it'll automatically start recording. Um, if it, the cameras detect someone walking in front or walking behind, it'll turn on and start recording. Um, and then auto power off, that means once the vehicle's off, it'll either shut off in one minute, two minutes, or three minutes, or you can just have it shut off when the vehicle shuts off. Um, going to page three. Um, language, you can change the language. Frequency, anywhere from 50 to 60 hertz. I have mine set to 50, uh, 60. Um, format, if you want to format your SD drive. And then screensaver, meaning how long you want it to stay on while you're driving. So if you're driving, the, you know, it'll show the front camera and rear camera for anywhere between 30 seconds uh, to one minute to two minutes, and then it'll shut off. Um, going to page four. Uh, this is the off-screen clock. You can either have it off or on. I don't really know what that is. I haven't, let me see what that does. LCD time. Oh, I bet you if we go back to the home screen, the, the clock won't be there. No, it still is. Okay, well, I'm not sure what that is. I'm, that's something that's, that's awkward. I didn't, I don't know what that, on page four, I don't know what that off-screen clock is. Um, LCD time, I guess I'll just leave it off. That's what it was um, by default. And then the date and time. Uh, if you click down to default settings, that'll set everything back to factory. And then the last button is your version, which is uh, GMAX C12 uh, 2018-06-09. So it looks like it's the most recent firmware. Uh, and other than that, guys, that's that's the sum of it. Um, the the clarity is really good uh, as far as the video. Um, however, I, again, the the recording video is good and the, the photos come out clear uh, it doesn't seem like they would because you have all this glare but again keep in mind you're talking about a mirror here so you're gonna have glare and you're probably gonna have a lot more of it during the daylight too so right now it's a little gloomy outside uh, here where I live so you know you got some you can see it pretty clearly here but I'm sure in the daylight bright Sun uh, you might uh, you know you might have a lot of glare but for the most part, I'm happy with it. It does what it needs to do for me. Uh, looks pretty good. I don't see it looking bad at all. I'm pretty happy with it. Very easy to install, guys. Took me about, oh, 30 minutes. Um, I had to stop because I had to go pick up my son uh, from work, so that doesn't count. But all in all, I want to say it took me about 35, 40 minutes. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is, in my case, I mounted my rear uh camera inside the vehicle so the downfall with that is if i reverse you'll see how this reacts if i reverse it automatically goes into the reverse uh screen but you see the leds that are on the camera how they light up um they'll go off for just a second if i get it out of reverse there you see that so i might just disable that i mean i don't really need the reverse backup camera i mean my car's small i can look back and see what i need to see what i need to do before backing up um and i, don't, I didn't want to put it outside because i just didn't want no one tampering with it you know um i might end up just putting it outside uh, that glare from the leds you're getting because that that camera that i have in the back right right there uh, that's the glare from the 
LEDs hitting the glass and I'm not too not too happy with that. I thought about just putting some black electrical tape around the LEDs, um, but I'll think about it. I'm either gonna do one of two things, either put some black electrical tape around the LEDs, um, because to me, I think without the LEDs it works just fine. I can show you again. There you go, see? So imagine if the LEDs were not there, let me just take them off real briefly by putting it uh, back in out of, out of the reverse position. There, you see that? So I might just disable that. And the way to do that is just simply don't plug in the red uh, cable that goes to your backup lights. Uh, keep the positive off and, and you, it'll still function. You just won't have the, uh, the effect where when you go into reverse, it automatically switches the camera uh, into reverse mode like it did uh, right there. Yet again, I'm showing you. Um, so yeah, I'll think about that. I might just put it outside. I don't know. I I'll think about it. Uh, but yeah, other than that guys, uh, very happy with it. Very affordable. I'll put the link in the description. Very easy to install. And it's really something to have uh, that you should have that can help you in the event of an accident, a mis uh, unfortunate accident. Uh, I think it's worth the investment. And like I said, in some states, you'll have to check with your insurance company, uh, but they will uh, reduce your uh, insurance bill if you happen to have one of these installed so you might want to look into that um, aside from that that's gonna be a wrap guys I appreciate you stopping by and checking this video out and all right okay guys uh, till next time peace out